Idaho race is back again. It brings sled dogs and mushers from all across the country, and it's a qualifier for some big races like the Yukon Quest and the Iditarod. The Idaho Sled Dog Challenge only a few days away now, and this morning we're joined by the official race organizer and founder, Jerry Wortley. Jerry, thank you so much for joining us. So talk to me about the founding of the Idaho Sled Dog Challenge. What, what inspired you to get this thing going? Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, I've been a uh, uh, volunteer on the Iditarod for a number of years. Really? Wow. And uh, so that's what uh, my background was from, from that. And, and then uh, down here, I thought it would be a great idea to have a start a race down here. So why not? It's a great area <laughs> to do it. Why not? And now you're in your fifth year. Is that right? That's be the fifth year. Yes. Fantastic. Talk to me about how this has grown and sort of uh, some changes. Yeah, we started out, I think we had 10 mushers the first year. Oh, wow. And, yeah. uh, and then each year it's grown since. We started with one race, and now we have actually five events. Wow. Uh, this year, the, 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 uh, the headliner event, of course, is our 300-mile uh, sled dog race through uh, Valley, Adams, and, and some of Jim County in the West Central Mountains. Wow, and, uh, 300 miles. 300 right. miles, correct. And... Uh, so that's our that's our qualifier. We're yeah. one of only three um, 300 mile qualifiers in the lower 48, um, and so we get mushers from all over. Someone from Saskatchewan is coming this year. Really, we've had people from uh, uh, New Hampshire, Michigan. They come from all over for this. So then the other events are uh, we've got a, also a hundred mile race. Oh. Uh, there on the, some of the same trails <clears throat> we have uh, then also we're starting a new race at, out of Warm Lake just a short a short race this year that will be new mm. uh, at, but it all kicks off with a couple of events we have uh, uh, veterinarians check all the dogs yeah. uh, pre-race uh, and that'll be in McCall and then we have a ceremonial start at the McCall uh, uh, activity barn Okay, and that's uh, uh, and at that we'll we're auctioning off uh, sled dog rides on line. Oh, so fun! So the highest bidders can get a ride <laughs> with, with these with these mushers, and uh, that would be a heck of a time. And so wow. it's uh, it's a great time. Yeah, there for that. So awesome! That sounds like a ton of fun. So how can people um, attend, take this in, uh, watch these various races? Well, uh, first you can go on our website at uh, IdahoSledDogChallenge.com. That has okay. most uh, all the information you need for scheduling and, and places to go and so forth. Okay. And uh, uh, but then all we've got five checkpoints throughout the race that people can actually drive to. Oh wow! And uh, there's a kind of a schedule on the on the website about approximately when they might be there. Okay. And uh, one of the things I wanted to mention was the, uh, we have a, a tagline that we came up with a few years ago called uh, Spirit Unleashed. Mm -hmm. And um, the way that came about is people, uh, we saw that how excited the community was for this event. Yeah. And, uh, and people were saying it's so much more than just a dog race. Yeah. And so the community has come alive with this, uh, with this uh, race. Uh, kids, uh, we uh, had a call yesterday from Cascade. Where are they going to park all the school buses? Because there's kids <laughs> oh, that's from awesome. call, coming all over for this race. So, uh, wow. so we came up with this line, Spirit Unleashed. And it's not just for the dog spirit, but it's the community spirit. Wow. That, uh, that just came alive for this and race. And the community has really embraced it. And what's that yeah. website one more time real quick? Uh, IdahoSledDogChallenge.com. IdahoSledDogChallenge.com. What a great race and event. Jerry, yeah. thank you so much for joining us.